We're here. We're ready to go. Um, and I just want to, you know, introduce who we got. Of course, we have Miss Layla Fox Nation, Mr. Smiley TK, and Mr. YST, uh, our wonderful competitors, as we are going to go on Fire Night today. This should be very exciting. I don't think we're going to need a wipe counter, Aww. but I make no promises about that. We'll see how this all, all plays out here. I'm very excited to see the end results of this uh, effort, because this should be pretty tough. I know, uh, you know, there's a couple challenges with Fire Night. It's not just getting through the waves, which is a challenge. It's not just affinity, which just can be a challenge too, but it's also you gotta break that shield of the Fire Knight. And then typically the way to do it is keep that turn meter down. And that's not always the easiest of things. Um, how, how are you guys feeling? Are you all ready to go? And uh, you got your plan set on how you wanna take this guy down? Ready as we can be. We're ready. <laughs> ready to rock. As ready as we can right. be, like Weissman said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, I think we're going to start today. We're going to start with uh, Miss Layla, and uh, we're going to begin with her team here. So if you want to, let me get your your team up on the screen. Well, if I can maybe do that. There we go. We have the drug test, so we I can passed. see where we are at 60 frames per second. You Pass have the drug passed. Test. <laughs> uh, but I figured we can go ahead and uh, take a look at your team, and then we'll check out your run. See, see who you're bringing in. All right, guys. So for Fire Knight, the challenge that I had was I don't have Yumeko and I don't have Genzin. And I know I had talked about in the video that I had tried out Life Taker. And the reason I had tried out Life Taker is because she does have decreased speed. She does have decrease in the target turn meter and heal reduction. But what we found was the runs getting through the waves were just too slow. So between her and Fenchi, keeping the turn meter down on the boss was good, but it was just taking way too long. So the team we ended up going with instead is Lady Kimmy, Corrado, Kayuku, Oboro, and Fenchi is the team that I'm going to be going with. So Lady Kimmy, I mean, we have her, we have her fast. We know that we're gonna need her again to help try to set up Oboro because Oboro is gonna be my AOE decrease defense and she's the AOE as well too. So we need her for also the decreased accuracy and decreased speed trying to land that on the boss. And she does hit twice on her A1 also with, you know, we have to the highest turn meter there. We're also gonna need some block buffs, increased accuracy as well too. Corrado, I have him in because his block active skills, I actually have him going before Oboro. Again, another debuff that gets landed that Oboro's gonna need because she needs to have four debuffs up to be able to hit. So I'm bringing in Kayuku and I actually have Kayuku built in a damage belt. So she actually has Giant Slayer and she's built in Savage is what we have here. So same thing with her is we have her landing her debuffs as well too. And I actually have Kayuku's Horde shut off because I found it was making the runs way too slow and I found that I actually didn't need it so basically it was just the weekend we use and then her a2 oboro i mean same thing like we did with ice golem is you know she's there we're looking for her to land that aoe decrease defense down and then fenchy fenchy's a rock star you guys know this and it was really funny we were talking everyone's like layla bring fenchy and i'm like i know he's in the team guys it's cool <laughs> so with him his a2 he hits three times decreases turn meter his a1 hits three times with a decreased speed and his a3 hits twice and still also has a poison so again another nice dot on the boss and also another debuff, hopefully, to help set up a Boro if she ends up needing it. So that is the team we currently have. Now, what I was telling the boys, too, is I tested out two things. Is I tested out Fenshi and Relentless, but I felt like he was too slow. So what I did instead is I ended up making him faster, over 300 speed. And that seemed like it ended up being much more consistent than having him in Relentless and depending on the, the random procs that were going to happen with, the, with him being slower. So that is the current team that we have. Pretty... Pretty baller. Okay, I like it. Um, definitely, we'll, I want to talk a little bit. Uh, I don't, you know, depending on how long these runs are, we're going to have some time to kind of converse some of this stuff. Um, and so I definitely have some, you know, thoughts and questions about the team that you're bringing in and choices that you've made on it, because obviously it's a bit of a challenge with the uh, Shadowkin. But let's go ahead and let's check this first run out, see what numbers we can put up here. It really I'm was excited. a challenge. I know we had talked about that because I tried what I tried. I tried Genzin, I tried Jintoro, I tried bringing a life taker, like I said. So there definitely was a bunch of just challenges, but it seemed like overall consistency wise, this mm -hmm. team was the most consistent, at least trying to get through the waves and trying to keep down the turn on the boss. So hopefully, you know, they don't get camera shy and hopefully they do their <laughs> job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, 
Absolutely, absolutely. We well, let, let's 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 jump in. It seems like it's time to go. So the first heat for uh, Layla's fire or fire knight squad with the uh, shadowkin. Let's All right, do guys, it. don't get stage fright. Let's go. Good luck. Let's go. Good luck, Layla. All right, you got four debuffs out there. You got a lot of debuffs out there. AOE DKC yeah. fence. Now, Obro's not 100% chance, right? So She's not, and also Kimmy is weak here, so she's not always very dependable. Mm. So it makes definitely for some challenges. Yeah. That's one of the big weaknesses of this faction, it seems like not. They, the AoE decreased defense is a bit lacking. Yep, like I was saying, it's Oboro and Genzen, and yeah. Oboro is conditional. Not having Genzen. Who would have thought that Lord Genzen would be wanted? <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Give me more Genzins. Give Layla a Genzin. I know, and as you guys can see too, I don't have Genzin, I don't have Yumeko. Otherwise, I would take him. Yeah, those would both be huge for this. All right. We're a minute in, almost through the second wave here. How is this yes, uh, compared YST, to your... Put on your mask. Put on your mask, YST. We can channel Genzin. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. We're going to sell this. Come on, let's go. You got to represent, right? We got Yameko, and then we got Genzin in the building. Let's go. I was looking for my COVID mask, but I don't have it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm depending on Kimmy with her decreased speeds and turn meter reduction. And then, of course, Fenchi, too. Hopefully he lands his with his nowhere to run. Hmm. Nice. Oh, interesting thing about it. Yeah, they're landing them, which is good. Turn meter decrease is really nice. Yeah, Fenchi's just such a superstar here. He just does such a good job. Yeah. Fenchi's so underrated for sure, I think. Oh, he definitely is. So I hope that people that are watching who didn't know that, at least now you guys know, like he's a rock star here. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot of turn meter control. Mm. Yeah, but they keep landing it. Sometimes, like I said, they get a little shy and they don't. What percentage <laughs> is it? I think it's a 50% chance with each of his three hits. Mm. That's, that's quite and that's what's great too, is like you guys saw each of his abilities are multi-hitters too, so it just makes them so good in here. Yeah. And the cool part is his turn reduction is actually a two-turn cooldown when booked. So you can actually have it happen every other turn, which is Ooh, pretty... Is it, is it on a two-turn? I didn't realize that. I didn't either. Yeah, it's fast. Wow, that's crazy. See, so we landed only once there in the three hits. It's pretty impressive. You're pretty much being able so to keep this, it down with just him. Yeah. And this definitely is not my fastest time looking at it. It's not. Well, that's okay. They got through. Oh, I see chat saying they use Fenshi a lot. Yeah, he's great. So at least now that you guys, that if you didn't know, now you know. He's definitely a champion I've always wanted to build, but I finally get to see him actually being used. So it's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. And I'd love to see if some of you guys can build him in a fast Relentless much faster than me, because I think the fastest I got him was 290. And that's why, like I said, I ended up toying with this build instead, because it ended up being more consistent with him being faster. All right. Three minutes, six seconds. I don't think that's too bad at all. Um, I know a lot of people out there just struggle with Fire Knight and like, boy, you just you really don't have the champions on this faction to really uh, push the numbers really, really fast. Right. And so actually, too, so that chat knows, I think when we first started, when I was toying around, so I actually did try out Jintoro degree and it wasn't consistent because I know what you're talking about, too, is that he does mm -hmm. have, I think it's on his A2 is he decreases the turn meter, but it ended up not being very consistent with me trying to get through the waves. That was the tricky part is I have like a whole roster of other champs that we tried and it just it wasn't the consistency wasn't there. The time wasn't there. It was like closer to four minutes trying to get through the runs, which was ridiculous ridiculous and so like with this three six like that's definitely on the slower end too because we made faster i can definitely see the fastness that can come out of that for sure compared to yeah and so i yeah. think yeah with higher speeds like on fenshi and probably like better builds with some better gear like i didn't have enough like i have kayuku and savage i would love to be able to meet the requirements for like Corrado and try savage and him too so there's a bunch of different things i'd like to try that i can't but it would be really cool to see what they could do with the right gear and like better stats as well too yeah well, okay, that's first run down. I don't think that's too bad. It's a good baseline. We No wipe so far. That's a positive no thing. Wipe. Don't say that. <laughs> no. no, they haven't wiped at all, but oh God, don't say that now. All yeah, right. and Ninja's out. I see people asking about Ninja. Ninja's banned, you guys. Ninja's yeah. banned. 
You and I do not have Gunslinger Yumoko. Alright, number All right. two. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Pretty cool to see um, Karate back in here as well. Yep, I used him here and then an Ice Golem too. Yeah. yeah, strong hitting champion, you know? A couple AoE skills is definitely... Definitely not to be underestimated. I like the fact that you have Kyoku in there. Yeah, it actually cool worked one. out. It was something I was thinking about before and couldn't make it work. So then changing her to a more of an, um, more of an attack build and putting mm -hmm. John Slayer on her seemed like that worked so much better. Oh, cool. Yeah, I can see that. Especially once you get to the boss and get some debuffs up. She's probably yeah. playing some good SmackDown. Man, I love Fenchy's, um, what's it called, animations. That is solid. I'm definitely yeah. going to be my next six stuff, for sure. And talk <laughs> like animations, like that one right there. Like, I love when Corrado gets huge like that. Some of the animations in Shadowkin is amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, it just, I, it's, it's so painful. Just like, you miss that decreased defense. I never thought I know, I'd be it's like... Not, it's not consistent, I know. I never thought I'd be missing Genzin. Uh, <laughs> but I, like he's desperately needed on this on this faction. Yeah, and then a Yumeko would have been great too, of course. Oh, reason. yeah. Oh, yeah. With her, you could get pretty fast run, I'd imagine. All right, looks like I... I mean, I could be wrong, but it looks like we're a little bit faster than the last time. Yeah. Yeah, the waves are definitely quicker on that one by at least 10 seconds, I think. And that's always the hard part. <laughs> yeah. <For Vagabond. laughs> no, no Vagabond here, guys. You had enough Vagabond, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Lady Kimmy coming through with that decreased speed as well. I like it. Yep, so they got a swing in. That's okay. Uh-oh. So yes, the run will be to, slower. So that's just down to Fenshi, right? With the 50%. Is that what it comes down to? Yeah, because again, Kimmy's weak, so she's not very dependable anyway. Oh, yeah. But having the two of them trying to uh, bounce it off. Oh, yeah, right there. Looks like he missed one of them, but... Yep. Yeah, he doesn't always land it, but there. So Kimmy landed hers. It's hard when you're only relying really on one person to land, keep your, your Terminator down, too, because it's just one simple miss, and all of a sudden you're going to... Pretty big trouble there. Yep, and I tested that as well too. And it just, like I said, it didn't work out. The consistency wasn't there. And if they did make it, the runs were just way too long. Like we're talking like over four minutes and that's just ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's so much different too when you're trying to speed run it as opposed to just beat it, right? Cause like, you're just trying to beat it. You could easily bring in more turn meter reduction. You're like, okay, it's steady, it's consistent, but you know, trying to, trying to push that speed number. Right, exactly, yeah. Like she gets the shield down real quick though. Like the amount of multi hits mm. in this team is insane. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's um one of the bigger problems here is like um loads of the champions running up as well, killing up a lot of animation time. Yep, it ends up doing that. And that's why like I was saying too, is like you guys see Kayuku's A3 isn't needed either. And it's like the slow animations that just kind of take up some time too, especially if they're abilities you don't end up needing. Right. Yeah, but I see chat saying not a lot of turn meter control. That's exactly it. You know, that's why like I was able. So obviously Fenchy's in here, and the only other one I could test around with was Life Taker because I don't have Kinagashi. Kinagashi has it on her A1, but I don't have her. Oh yeah, Kinagashi's. <laughs> <laughs> Block yeah, me out, or is like you, Fenchy is like a lure if you got your allure off Wish. <laughs> <It's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Oh, man. All, All right, right, we'll go once. We'll go once more, and then um, so we'll see how they do. I'll tell you guys what the best time was afterward. Two runs in. Let's let's see if we can't get sub three minutes here on this one. I feel like we got. Yeah, got my best time is easily sub three minutes. My best time. Oh, a lot, of, a lot of decreased defense on that one. That seems to be the big key. Is like the more of that that lands, the better. Yeah, when she can do it, which isn't very often. I mean, because again, it's not 100%. <laughs> you know, you're always hoping that it is, but she doesn't always do it. Yeah. I mean, that's that RNG we've all been having to, or you, not me, but you guys have been having to deal with as far as like building your teams is like. Yep. Why is he and I actually it. talking about that off camera is just like the RNG swings of it between like what your fastest time is and what your slowest time is. Mm. Yeah. Just the swings. Whoa, that's... actually nothing landed there. 
That was 45 seconds on that first run. That's definitely the fastest, uh, I think, to this point. It's pretty cool, though, because a team that you've, like, worked really hard on behind the scenes, you're just praying, like, it's going to come like, <laughs> clutch on live on stream. It's like, oh, my God, it's, it's nerve-wracking, for sure. Exactly, I know. Yeah. The live on stream part, I, I didn't realize how uh, exciting this would be. <laughs> it was <laughs> definitely, fun and exciting, yeah. definitely the best choice I made out of making this entire uh, thing together. I was like, oh, this is way more entertaining to see. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun for sure. It definitely is. Okay, okay. Is that faster than the last one? I'm not too sure with the rounds. It's about the same, I think. Yeah, the RNG didn't seem to be very much with me on these runs, unfortunately. So what do you need to happen for it to um, get that nice RNG in? Is there like something in particular that needs to... I definitely need those debuffs to land, for sure. And I need Oboro's decreased defenses to land, and they don't always, unfortunately. What's her chance? Is it like 70 or something? 50? Oboro? Well, I think it's yeah. 70, 75%, something like that. 25. I could be wrong though. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. It's one of those things where like you could use Oboro and Hydra, right? And you're fine. But when it comes to this with so many people out there and needing to wipe the entire wave, it's Yep, exactly. Uh, you really only have to miss one and your wave becomes infinitely slower, right? Because you still have to beat down that one person. So... Yeah, getting it up here on the bosses. Yes, yeah, so this one looks like it's definitely going to be the slowest one for sure. Unfortunately, because a lot of those didn't land. 50% chance on the A1. For decreased defense. It yeah, and so there, there's a lot it of there's a lot of conditional rough. things that have to happen too, right? Is like we were saying, is you have to get the other debuffs up first, then she can do it as well too. So it's just it's a conditional thing. Fifty percent. That that's not. Fun. I know. I know. <laughs> so it makes you again. It makes you kind of see because there's only her and Genzin, how you know critical like a Genzin would have been or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. how useful. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's definitely one of the slowest ones I think we've done in a while. It's fine, yeah. All right, so my fastest run with this team ended up being 237. So I had a bunch of like 237s. Ooh. I had like 243. And even before stream, like before this, I was doing a bunch of runs and they were at like the 239 to like 245. So then of course, live stream, just the RNG part of it. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course it's how this works. I mean, still, I think really good. Like that's a hard part. Like, God. you spent spend ten minutes looking at this faction, and you tell me how you're supposed to do this any faster when you don't have, you don't have Genzin, you don't have Yumeko, you don't have Ninja available for you. All of a sudden, this faction becomes really difficult to make this work because you're not only just struggling for that turn meter, but the damage, the debuffs that you need, it's really, really struggled right there. Um, that's a really good, I think that's a really good result. I think the most important thing too, well, not for necessarily this competition, but in general is that was super consistent, right? That didn't matter. Like you were, your times may have varied, you know, within about a minute range, but every time you were winning, even if the Fire Knight happened to get a turn in there, wasn't a challenge for your team, you're going to survive, you're going to do the job. So exactly. Uh, I think you and I talked about off stream too, is that that's mm -hmm. why, like I said, is even if he got a swing in, we were fine. Like, I it didn't feel like they were ever in any danger and they cleared it. And some of the other teams I would try, would Genbo have been more nuke? The problem was keeping him alive, mm. trying to get through the waves. I actually tried that, um, GB. So that was a really good question. Is I'll show you guys what we have over here at edit team down here. So there's actually quite a few different things that we tried here with Jintoro as well, Genbo. So there's a bunch of different stuff that we tried out and trying to make the stats that's the hardest thing too right with him because he's a nuker so trying to make sure you have the crit cap trying to make sure they get as much crit damage as possible and then trying to make sure you have the right speeds as well is it just wasn't working out so even though he was perfect for that it made the runs very inconsistent very very inconsistent as well too mm -hmm. you love the team no yeah i left that on purpose i thought you guys would get a kick out of that for the nose but i decided i wasn't gonna use the team. <laughs> perfect way to test it out i love it i love it all right well great i, I thought that was a great result Really good work on that. Um, you got your times all set in there. 
I think we're gonna move over to uh, Mr. YST. Drug, drug test, drug test. We got the drug test there. It's legal. He's he's it's official. Legal. I'm legal. I'm legal. <laughs> <laughs> um, all, right, all right. So now we got the drug tests out of the way. Um, yeah. Before we go into my champions, just want to give a round of applause to Ms. Layla Fox Nation. So everybody in the chat, spam some hype for her. Let's go. Oh, and, indeed. Um, indeed. And all right. Recently used first. Who did Mr. YST use? Let's start off with one of my mystery champions, and that is Gomlock Skyhide. Now, oh. this champion here, he blew me away. Like, I've, I was just thinking, why on earth has I never tried this champion before? Now, what it's down to is A1, Leech. We're not really caring about that. But the main reason for this one is it hits twice. And as you guys know, that Fire Knight is very annoying with that shield, right? And especially when bit. we got the Orcs um, on his A2. Attacks one enemy, has a 60% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter and then steals 50% of the target's turn meter instead if this champion has full HP, which he's going to have. So he's being able to steal, increase his turn meter, get through his turns a lot more efficiently and keep spamming this out. That's a two turn oh. cooldown? Yep, it's insane. Oh. <laughs> um, on his A3, can attack all enemies two times, has a chance of placing drop defense and weaken on a four turn cooldown. So, I need depletes turn meter from this as well. So, overall, this guy is just amazing for the Fire Knight. And he's the right affinity, so pretty cool. Um, next up is a champion that I revealed on Deadwood's collab a few days ago. And Two Heart the Wanderer, he has got attacks one enemy two times. He's got an AoE decreased speed to make sure that we keep that Fire Knight shield down. And then we've got a stealing of the turn meter on his A3 ability. And just between him and Gomlock, that's it. Our turn meter is fully controlled 100% of the time. We have done got a uh, Kreela the Witch Arm, yeah. who's basically there to ally attack, increase our attack, and get that shield down straight away so we can start dealing some raw damage. Um, we've then got a Robot, who's got a drop defense on an AoE mm -hmm. and a nice nuke on his A3. And then we've got King Garog, who <laughs> my teammate Mr. Scratch doesn't like still. He calls him Fairy <laughs> or something. <laughs> but we've got the Gore Maker, which can pretty much nuke down like anything in front of him. But then it's this ability here that makes my team amazing. So a bit of an RNG for you guys today, so you can laugh at me. But proccing this 50% chance on each hit is kind of where I'm relying on a specific thing for like good times. And yeah, that's my team. I'll just briefly go over the gear. So we've got Savage, Savage, Mr. Savage, no Savage. We've got Reflex on Kreela. Sure. And then we're back to Savage again. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm all comfy in my chair. We're gonna head Good over luck. to the Fire Knight. Can't and, wait to see this. Good luck. I hope you guys get blown away from this. Are you ready? Oh, I see. RNG on my side. Three, let's two, go. one. Team Orcs, let's go. Screen up this. And it's full auto, so it's pretty cool. So we got an A1 there. Just open up with A1s. Drop defense and weaken. Nuke and King Garog. Kaboom. Go through two. Nice. Damn. That was impressive, yeah. Here. That was great. Now, right here, we don't want to do ally attacks because we need King Garrock to hit four times here. One, two, three, four. Get some wow. cooldowns. Drop the fence. Decrease speed so they don't take a turn. Kill off the guy on the left. And then it all comes down to King Garrock here doing that A3 again, which he didn't, which is okay. So there's a bit of RNG there to speed this wave two up. So that would save like three or four seconds. Yeah, but it's, it's still going to be completely fine here. Um, we're going to go through here. As long as the middle guy gets the ally attack, there we go. We're all good. Gonna come through with a 10 meter and there we go. Sit back and enjoy the rest of the run. Wow. Uh, from here, pretty much just raw damage, drop defense and weaken. And <laughs> that's it. So the RNG comes through that wave two, being able to get that cooldown with the Gore Maker. And then just like the RNG of Kreela against the boss to speed things up. So there we go. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see how fast we can get this. Uh, I won't spoil anything until the actual end of the run spot. Well, ally attacks, nice too. Yeah, so it's decent. <laughs> as, as good as I can do with the orcs. I think that's really good with the orcs, quite frankly. Yeah, definitely not the best, but we'll get there, I believe, because it's quite consistent with my RNG that I'm looking for. I'm there shocked at that turn meter reduction. Wow, minute 29. Well that's done. Good. That's awesome. Good job. Ooh. It's nice. It's Impressive. nice. All right, he's really that was this, very impressive. Well let done. Let me just say, this is nowhere near the capabilities. Round two, Ooh, let's go. Let's see. Let's do it. All right, all right, jump this. in again. 
I'm kind of nervous. I'm getting kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's so impressive, YSP. Good job. That's very impressive. Thank you. King Garok, please. Dude, We've got two that, more times to do this. That nine second first wow. wave is nuts. Yeah, that's amazing. All, right. All these people One, in channel saying they need to take King Garag out of the vault now. Ooh, okay. We, I don't think we got it there again unless that 5% from the mastery procs, but... Please, Garok, you've got one attempt to do this. Three, two, one. Oh, see, there we go. Oh, so good. You need him to cool down his, yeah, prime, so his big got, skill. I've lined it up in a way so the person on the right doesn't die from Gore Maker. So he gets that four potential chances to do it. But there's only a 50% chance and he needs to happen three times. Mm. Which does happen a lot. Like, it's quite consistent. So that kind of messed up my speech in there. Bit worried about this one, but we should be good as long as we get the... That turn meter. Oh. Yeah, so it's alright. This one might actually be a loss, to be honest. We got all the debuffs there. You just need a little yeah. bit more... We just need reduction here from Gomlock. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, there it oh. <laughs> Nice. Come oh, on. Oh, buddy. This is nice. One more, one more ally attack we get. Come on. Kreela. Kreela. Now. Please. Kreela. No. We'll refresh. No. <laughs> uh, it was close. We got, cl we got better time than the last one, though. Yeah. Minute 26. It's not too shabby. Do I go speak to Genzin again? Yes, bring on the mask. You have to. I, mean, I, think, the mask uh, I think I have to. It worked for the dragon. We got... Guys, there's so much potential for this team. Genzin? Where are you? All right, Mr. Genzin. Number one, I wish that you go to Layla Fox's account one day. Thank you. Number two, give us the RNG <laughs> that we need to beat CSI in this competition. Let's go. <laughs> we got this. Please. Please. All Maybe right. you need to keep the mask on. Does he want you to keep it on? Oh, it's going to go straight back on. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. King Garok, I've been testing you. We're supposed to be good friends by now. Oof. Nuke and kaboom. All right, come on. It's legit. That first wave is so legit. Please. Go maker. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think we might have got it there. Wait. Come on. Please. All right, one. Go maker. Oh, we didn't get to showcase it today, unfortunately. Uh. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It happens. It's well, live you got, stream. <laughs> you got through that one pretty quick, though. Yeah, it's a little just... extra turn from Robar helped. That's all right. I really thought it was going to come through Clutch. It was, it was happening so much in testing. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. Because basically a big part of this as well is, do you know that um, four-time hitter with the cooldown? Mm -hmm. um, I need it to happen after the drop defense and weaken happens. So when the cooldown happens, then it tunes correctly to get as much damage out as possible. Mm -hmm. So it kind of messes up the run at the finite as well. Still 100%, but... But you don't get that, that sexy... Yeah, we don't get it. Real sexy time, though. Still pretty good, though. It's decent. It's, it's very impressive. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shocked that a a you're under two minutes. I'm shocked that anybody can do under three minutes on this. Like, Fire Knight is so bloody hard, man. Oh. All right, hey, so. Minute 30, all right. Great so, job, good job. Good job, the, good job. The best um, time for this run is actually the one that's here at one minute, 13 seconds. Oh, wow, nice. That's your A personal lot. best time? Wow, yeah, with that's team, so yeah. funny. From my whole account, so with any teams <laughs> I've had in the past, Wow. My previous one was 116, but I crushed 113 on 60 FPS with the same team. So, so I wish I could have. I wish I could have showed that today, but it just maybe after. Is. Maybe after yeah, we try yeah, again, see if you can do yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. Hope you guys. Congrats. Enjoyed it. Well done. Hell's yeah. Good Very job, good. bud. Very good. I'm nervous. <laughs> good luck. He's nervous. All right. Well, I guess. Jeez, that's really good. All right. So we can see the the updated numbers here. We've got YST firmly in second place. The question is, can Smiley best that? And we're going to find out here in just a second. Right after this commercial break. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> God, it would have been perfect timing, though. It's uh, a Soundstripe shout out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right after this commercial break. Guys, if you like today's music, we got that Soundstripe link down below. Pin comment description of today's video, like all my videos. Use code Deadwood Jedi. 
There you not, go. That's how you do not it. Not code Fo Layla Wood, Layla Fox. Layla Nation. Wood? Don't, what? Don't use that one. I don't know. <laughs> don't use don't use any of the other codes. Just use mine. That's all I want to say. Okay. Let's get let's get let's move over to Smiley. I'll stop talking because I'm embarrassing myself. Smiley, drug test is passed. We are at 60 frames per second. Excellent work there. I'm glad to right. see that you are following the rules this time. And um <laughs> This time. <laughs> I had to call that back out. Um, so you got the Dark Elves. Now, I think yes. everybody here is well aware Dark Elves is a very strong faction. A lot of flexibility. Not necessarily one that I would say is like, you know, the ideal Fire Knight faction necessarily. But I have a feeling you got you got some options here for you, uh, for us here. So what, what, are, what are you running? So there are several champions here. A lot of people might be expecting me to use, but I'm not using them. And that was Dark Kill. I, I cut him out. Foley, I cut him out. Uh, Lanicus, I cut out. And the five that I'm actually using is Mithrala, who is someone you guys all should go for. Hydra boss, make sure to get it done. She's a fantastic champion, one of the best in the game. Uh, Mithrala is bringing a lot of poisons with the multi and A1. She mm -hmm. brings out the hex on the um, the A2, and or the yeah. We have Zagala, I mean Zavia, of course, bringing the poison explosion again, you know, yeah. uh, a lot of poisons, multi hits, and she does a lot of damage. And actually, I guess I'll just show them their stats too while I'm at it. So Zavia is in Savage set right now. She's at 6.2k attack, 260% crit damage. And yeah, the speed. So I went with a different route this time. Instead of going for the really, really slow composition like I did in Dragon, uh -huh. this is actually the complete opposite of that. But it's still very speed tuned to a degree. So I'll show you what I mean when I get to another champion. So Zavia is at a decent spot here at the 181 speed here. And oh, wait, we have Smiley, the, I'm, yeah. I interrupt you just real quickly. By Sorry. the way, guys, if you really want to see the statistics and the stats, the setup and all that, and most of these guys have been putting out videos talking about these particular runs. So feel free to go by their channels. Make sure to sub to them. Um, they do wonderful work independently, but that's going to be a great way to actually get like the details on what they're doing with these teams as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, I know we're, I know we're doing an overview of every, everything, but you know, not everybody's going to be able to get all the all the details and stuff. So anyway, go on, Smiley. Just talk yeah. talk on. All right, all right, and then the next champion we're gonna go with someone I really wanted to use in Dragon at the time, but bad affinity. But here is his time to shine. So here we go. We have Rule, who's perfect match with Mithrala because Mithral is putting the hex on everybody. Mm. And for Rule, he's gonna be nuking super hard with this ability here because he does an additional hit on you know people with hex. And if there's an additional 25% ignored target defense, if there's four or more enemies under hex debuff, mm. so he's nuking super hard with this ability here. And for his stats, we have. 7.2k almost 7.3k attack 270% crit damage and he's also going after the zavia and for the other champion so this is my filler kind of champion so i really wanted a way to make sure the the term meter is decreased and he's slowed and thus he has a speed decrease on him so i use i, I opted with the silar who's also really helping with the waves as far as the stun because a wave two is once I get the one, the wave one is really, really easy. The wave two is where I struggle because um, I can't really nuke it down because I kind of just bursted everything I had. So with the stun, it's going to be decreasing the amount of turns that they're taking, meaning there's less animation, there's less timer that adds up, adds up to the clock. So she's pretty much just there for the stun, and that's pretty much it. I couldn't really build her in damage because I was running out of uh, player power, so <laughs> I had to keep her. I had to keep her kind of uh, gearless in a sense. So just the speed is all I focused on. And so this is the champion that I wanted to talk about to everybody. So guys, Blinds here, a lot of people don't know how good she is in Fire Knight. Ridiculous. She is <laughs> one of the first champions that I thought about when I first, when Fire Knight Throne 5 first came out, Blinds here is who I wanted to try using because she's such a nice fail safe to, because of the revive she has as well. But she has a multi hitter, a triple hitter on the A1 and also has a chance to turn meter decrease. So in a sense, she's kind of like a mini alert. And yeah, she's a fantastic champion, guys. So this is who I was hinting at or kind of, uh, you know, talking about that I said uh, was going to be, a, I guess, not a sleeper, but a lot of people don't really know how good she is. I'm sorry, so, Smiley. Uh, yeah. I just happened to catch a view of this champ's speed. Is that 400 speed I see? It's 398 <laughs> speed. Oh my. That's faster than my Arbiter. <laughs> yeah. So I oh wanted to make sure she goes as fast as possible to take multiple laps oh, on the Fire Knight so boss. <laughs> I think we have yeah, a balance power so problem here. I think we have a balance problem here, guys. I'm gonna have to relook at the rules Blind next time around. Line Seer needs a drug test right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 400 speed? Dear Lord. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, all right. But uh, once again, guys, gear, number one most important thing on your account. Uh, mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. So yeah, she's, she's insanely good. Yeah, this might be kind of a flex on her speed. I don't think she needs to be this fast, but I wanted to ensure my victory or try to get as fast a time as I can. So I wanted to make sure, yeah, yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, What's look, man, don't apologize. You got it. You got it. Flaunt it. You know, no worries. Let's uh, let's see yeah. what you can do. I'm excited. But, but the rule was stay under 350 50 power power. So I made sure to stick by that at the very least. Right, guys. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So <laughs> that's a team. Here we go. Uh, YST, when he got fat, like that first wave, it got it was so fast. The wave two was pretty fast. His wave one and wave two time is much faster than mine. So as soon as he got to the boss, I, I, I am kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. You Good luck, Smiley. We can't wait to see Good this. Luck. Everybody's yeah. excited to see. <clears throat> good okay. Luck. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much 40K. it. Yeah, you're at that player power limit. Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> you can definitely right, nerf it next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Here comes a nuke. Nice. <laughs> that was nice. Smooth. Yeah. Oh. So this is where we kind of run into a trouble because we we used everything we had and you know now we kind of just like a one a two and try to just get the mess down as much as we can. So that's pretty mm -hmm. fast either. Okay. So this good. this is actually a really good run for me. This might be a PR. I was like, I didn't see any problems there. Okay, we gotta make sure we land as many poisons as we can, though. Okay, we got the decreased speed, we got the terminator decreased. Okay, we got some more poisons, and... Oh, here yeah. it comes. Okay, here we, go. Here, we here we go. here we go. No! <laughs> she didn't do it! She was supposed to do it right there! What? She didn't have it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, she, did it, she did it before. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Woo, 106. Well done. Oh my. Nice oh job. my. Yeah. So this is around my PR range. Yeah. Ooh. So if, yeah, if this was on. Pretty good result. I guess I'll go again. Yeah. We can go again, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got two more. You got two more, baby. Hit, more. That, okay. hit okay. that PR. All right. Remember, guys, this is 60 frames capped, so it's a bit slower than the normal. <laughs> I gotta throw it in there. This one, uh, it's too slow. It's capped. Oh no, this isn't bad. This one was bad, yeah. It's supposed to be a clean nuke in the first one. Yeah, no hex on the landing. Oh, missed one there too. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't think Zavi is gonna be ready to nuke again though. No. She's using it on the second wave. Yeah, she's she's supposed to get one more turn after, but the rule is actually clearing everything right before. Because before in my testing, rule was not clearing everything right away, mm. and Zavi would get that last hit on somebody, and then she'll have it up. But what's interesting about this, because you have Zavi, because you have rule, you're not having to use decreased defense at all. Um, no. I that do have kind of saves. Though, not really, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, look at blinds here with the terminator reduction. It's like a mini alert, guys. She's insane. Oh, Oof. Oof. Nice, good job. Right. Thank you. One, 12. One more. Come on, personal record. <laughs> what's, cra what's crazy here is, is like my kind of average time and best time is very close to this one like very yeah. close yeah that's why i was really impressed yeah it's literally like five second difference or something five ten seconds like the sheer brute force that orc has is insane man and you oh, really showcased nice that really well say that. <laughs> someone actually yeah, said you, oh this is good <laughs> you showcased that really well okay okay so ah uh, not what i wanted but i think it's fine yeah, we're not gonna get our PR here, but yeah, you guys see the potential, I guess, of the fastness. 
right? Lion's yeah, it's such a cool champion, man. It's so good. Yeah, we didn't land too many poisons. How many poisons do you need to nuke this guy down? Um, as many as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're good with about seven, right? Like or around six, here, yeah, if five. I nuke them, maybe good. If I nuke them yeah. right here, yeah, it's, it's an auto. There we go. Cool. Yeah, there right. we go. Minute 10. Pretty darn good, my friend. Great job. Well Thank done, you. Smiley. That was really great. Wow. Well, we definitely got a little, uh, what would you call it? Like a master class on Fire Knight, I feel like. My many, best... many different oh. approaches and good, good ones. Yeah, go on. My best time on 60 cap was 102. And Woo. with without cap on unlimited, it was 50 seconds. That's awesome. Yeah. Actually, chat's asking to see both Orc and Dark Elf on unlimited. Go for it. If yeah, you guys you, want to. Oh, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, they want to see okay. both you guys on Unlimited. Alright. See the super fast version of it? I just wanted to show Gomlock, no Gomlock, King Garrog do his thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we can see it this time. If you get another run in, maybe yeah. we'll show it. Yeah. I'm shocked at how great Gomlock was too. He was very effective. Very underrated, I think. Like, this guy's yeah. got defense a week and 100% chance. It's insane. Boom. And you have rule in Savage, right? Yeah, he's at seven point, almost seven point three k attack at two hundred seventy something crit damage. It makes such a big difference being able to put that in there. Yeah, such a massive difference. The fact that you can go through these waves without decreased defense this quickly is very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. We need more poisons, come on. You got this, you got oh, this. We're not landing much. You yeah. Got it, you, got it, you got it, you got it. It's not enough. It is, it is. Oh, oh. it's not. I thought that was it. You heard it here first, guys. Faster on 60 frames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Minute three, it's still the faster yeah. one, but it's still wow. pretty decent, yeah. Should I do it again? Decent. Uh, I mean, if you do you want to you want to get your personal? Go ahead, do it. Get 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 it working okay, the way you want to get it working. One more, just one more, one more. Last <laughs> one, last one. I think it's pretty Let's fascinating go. to watch Let's this go. thing. Anyway, so how viable? Is. That was nice. How viable do you think Rule is? I mean, obviously you have to give him that setup, which makes it a little problematic, but. Yeah, he, he's not, he's just there for the wave clearing. Once you get to the boss, he's kind of, you know, he has no purpose there. Except for the defense down, I guess. Okay, this is a clean run. This is going to be a really Absolutely. good one. Yeah, that's nice. 26 seconds. There you go, 50 second run inbound, let's go. You said 50 is your best, right? We're not landing much poisons. Yeah, 50 was my best. Okay, we got more poisons there. Okay, we're set up to... Okay, we're pretty set up well here. You're full. Full in the poisons, at least. Yeah, this will be... Uh, well, this is definitely under a minute. Boom. I love 57 that. seconds. That's nice. pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Good job, sir. Good job. Well done. Thank well you. Well done. YC, you want to show us your uh, unlimited? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. If we can get that cooldown, like it happened like so many times, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> it's that RNG like we talked about, right? Yeah, I was so worried about that. Swings. Seven seconds there. Seven Next seconds? One. Jeez. That's so nice. Oh my gosh. Then he, I literally leave that guy alive on purpose for the cooldowns. So we only got two again. Mm. Uh, such a pain. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Wait, let me just, I'm just going to reset that because I do want to show that. All right, all right. Do you need to talk to Genzin again? Oh no, <laughs> Genzin <laughs> let me down today. I'm upset. <laughs> Oof. That was beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I'll just let this one run out, even if he doesn't do it. Three, four. None that time. What? Oh, it is what it is. <laughs> like it happens, guys. Like sometimes. There you go. That's mad. 
Usually when I would try it, it'd be a lot more consistent than that. What's the percentage on it again? It's basically, there's a 50% chance to do a cooldown on a four time hit. So oh. it's like 50%, 50% like that. So you just have to do it three times, basically, to get the... Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty... It's not a high percentage to get it three times, but... Oh, but then they've got the um, the five percent from the masteries that procs quite a lot sometimes oh, as well. Sure. It runs, so it's like it's pretty. It happened like more than it didn't, to be honest, in previous runs. But look at that chunk there! Oh my god, yeah. wrecking ball! Wow. Oof. So look, we got one ten there, nearly one eleven, one twelve. So that's the time that I showed you guys with the sixty FPS. I'll try it one more time, please. I need to show it once, just once. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't do it, I'll just quit the run after this. I just, I just needed to do it once. Come on. I mean, we're here to watch it, it, so it's not that. It's not a problem. Something. Come on, King Garrog. Please. One time. How many people we got here? 900. Do it. No. <laughs> I think you got a full refresh, though, no? No, we only got it once. Oh, it could have been the mastery, potentially. No, it wasn't. Mm. You don't have refresh gear on them either? No. I don't have any for any of my orcs at all. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think I have any for mine either. Like, I think if basically if basically what happens is if he does that cooldown there, he just nukes everybody and you're at the boss at 25 seconds on 60 FPS. So when you that's... do that, then it, it's insane. I think we can get under a minute if that all like, falls into balance. But... Yeah. See Chad saying how they were really enjoying watching your team kind of just like bully through. Just like overpower, <laughs> just with sheer force and damage. It's such a different approach oh, than it. we're used to, right? Like, just overwhelming yeah. power. But I'm I think that's cool. A, I'm such a fan of Gomlock. I don't know why I thought you was trash like the whole time. He's insane. Yeah. Well, I think it's it's. It probably has more to do with like where you get him in the game, as yeah. opposed to his overall utility. That's still great. Well, I'm gonna fourteen. Great job. Really that's well solid. done. It's really that's solid. It. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, the numbers are in. It's time to crown our winner of the Fire Knight competition. So, in third place, with the bronze medal, a minute at the time of three minutes, six seconds, the Shadowkin faction, part of the GOAT squad, Layla Fox Nation. Everyone, ah, round of applause. And of course, coming in second, silver place finish with Team Scrinubist, the Orc faction, Mr. YST. Yay! And then finally, coming in first place with a gold medal and a best time of one minute, six seconds, part of the uh, the Dark Elves faction, Team CSI, Smiley! Yay! Hey, what's up, guys? Congratulations. Much deserved. Very well done. Very well done, everybody. Good job, um, guys. Damn, damn, that was great. That was a great job. I love how we got to really see, you know, I think three pretty different approaches to this. Um, and, you know, Fire Knight is so difficult because what I think is interesting too is always having to not only break down the shields, but obviously keeping the turn meter down is such a crucial aspect of that. Um, and you guys all kind of found your own ways to get there, which I thought was really interesting. And then, of course, because of the time frame we're talking about here, trying to, you know, make it as fast a run as possible, dealing with ways to speed up those waves in addition to that. Um, you know, puts even more limitations. So you're like, you know, reducing the number of champions you have to get this stuff done. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I try to build a team and like I got the perfect Fire Knight team and then it's horrible against the waves or vice versa. And so you guys did a great job of balancing those two things out um, with this. So I think congratulations all around are are required. Um, well done, well done, everybody. Do you guys have any uh, any final thoughts about uh, you know this this competition? Uh, I suppose more specifically, like taking on Fire Knight. Like if you were to give advice to people out there as far as building a team from scratch with the champions they have, you know anything about your approach that you took here that you didn't know before, or you know maybe you want to impart to other people, you know anything. Any little tidbits of advice you wanna wanna share with the group? Yeah, I'll start for this one actually. So a lot of people that um like when when we make videos or whatever, we look at the comment sections or streams. Loads of people are under the misconception that you need an allure or you need this specific champion. But a challenge like this really shows that you can be creative with someone like a Fenshi or like a Blind Seer or a, a Gomlock or a Creela, Two Heart the Wanderer. Like any of these champions, you can just like work around what you have, and as long as you got the right theory and action, so. You know that you want turn meter reduction, you know that you want multi-hits on your champions on the A1s or A2s. 
All of these things, no matter which faction or which champions you have, is able to get you through this dungeon. So I hope that today can really help you guys out in kind of theory crafting. Smiley, do you have any uh, thoughts? I'm just laughing at the comments because they're saying all you need is 400 speed. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Easy clap. Easy clap. Get to it, guys. Yeah, but y YC is right, though. Like, you don't have to have all these specific champions to do stuff. You can always make work with what you have. You just have to be uh, creative and, um, you know, just look for... I mean, Terminator manipulation is huge in Fire Knight. Getting the shield down, having multi-hitters, um, that's really important as well. You don't have to have a seer for all these compositions. You don't have to have, you know, these... You could, you could work with anything, like like Shadowkin. Layla made it work with Shadowkin. YC made it work with Orcs. You know, obviously, Dark Elves, uh I had a bit of an advantage with all the champions that's available, but you know, uh, you can make it work with anything. Yeah, I mean, the fact that, you know, you didn't have that much faster time than YST did, and you have a Zavia, like a big right. explosion nuker, uh, it shows that there's a lot of flexibility to this. I mean, Layla, I know you were playing around a lot with uh, some rare champions too. Uh, trying to make this work for you. Um, I really was. Yeah, like I was saying, is I was playing all kinds of things. I think it's a really good showcase, too, like the guys are saying. Is it's not always about the champs you have. There's other things, too, like gear. You know, and I think it's a really good showcase to say that, too, because I think a lot of times people think that, you're, you know, your count's fantastic if you have all the really good champs. But if you don't have good gear for them or the right type of gear or the right type of stats on them, there's only so much you can do. And then, yeah, then so then you have to kind of go through and try to figure out what you got and then try to mix and match. But I did. I toyed around with everything. And what I actually really liked about this competition, I'm sure that the other competitors can say the same thing, is it made you look at other champs that you might have just not considered before. It made you really go in, look at their kits, and really try to, like, think about it. You know, like, think about where can you use them, are they usable, and even try to test them out with some other comps. And I know, like, I did a lot of that, where I literally sat through and I went through every single champ I had and just kind of trying to, I don't know, theory craft in my head if it even makes sense or if it's possible. And it's just, it became really interesting. And I thought that was really fun with this competition. Yeah, I, there's so many different champions involved here. It's it's wild to actually dive in and see all the ones that you don't usually use. And I'm sure like when you guys are actually working on these teams, you're probably looking at every single champion in your faction to see if there's somebody that you'd overlooked before to really give you that little bit of edge. Um, that's it's it's pretty wild you know i think we forget sometimes that you know most of the champions in this game are very viable um if you build them appropriately or use them in the right situations and so uh one of the things i loved about this is watching you guys you know pull out gomlock and uh see what they can do pull out the fenchy and see what they can do uh for these competitions i think it's great i love the silar usage you know in the dark elves right like you know we all know silar is good but you know, not always are they, you know, does she get the shout out that she necessarily needs? And so it's, you know, it's great to be able to see some of these um, lesser used champions get some real airtime here. Um, this is fantastic. Thank you guys again for being part of this. Um, what I want to do right now, though, is chat. We went through this. We have another competition down in the books, but I want to thank you guys for all being here. We got like over 800 of you in the chat right now, and I want to give away some gems. So if you guys are down, that's what we're going to do. Uh, all I'm going to ask for you guys right now is to go ahead and type exclamation mark faction and you're going to have a chance to win 200 gems uh, for five of you. We're giving away a thousand gems today. Uh, so type that in there and we'll do that in just a in just a brief five minutes here is what we're going to do. Um, yeah. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Right. Gems. <laughs> Very good luck. Ooh, Great no. job, Smiley. Uh, I think. I think CSI takes the lead now in the competition. No, no we're yeah, even right now. We're even. Are you guys still even? Yeah, yeah. we're even. Oh, you're oh, right. We was two points ahead. Wait, really? and now Smiley's got two points up, so it's down to Hydra now. We still have braids. We got it. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> it all wow. comes wow. down to Hydra. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, ooh. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Okay. All right. All right. This will be interesting to see the uh, end result here. Um, Wow. Okay, great. Well, tied, tied going into the last fight. I can't ask for anything more. Couldn't ask for anything more. It's going to be real dramatic. Um, do you guys have bets on who's going to who's gonna pull it out? It's going to us. There's no chance. Team that. CSI. Let's go. No. Uh, do you know what the worst part of this was? I've been killed by a Zavia in two events. <laughs> <laughs> no one had to experience that, man. Do you know do you remember that ability when she throws that little bat out and it just drops? It's mm -hmm. like... Pfft. Oh, whole chair's gonna fall apart. It's like, for God's sake, man. I just that's, know it's coming. That's your heart. It just goes, oh, 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 no. It just falls I, right I did. I did tell you guys that this one would be a lot closer than people expected. I don't think a lot of people thought that it would be. 
Yep, really? you did say that. He did. He actually said that in our video. Because remember, I went into this thinking yep. um, I was going to get that 116 or 117, like at least that average time that I was getting. And if you consider that, well, that was really close. So, but yeah, yeah that would have been real close. Well done, man. You, you smashed it. That blind seer was a great choice, I think. Yeah, yeah she's sure. awesome. Yeah. You think really speed great. was a really good choice, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think real fun. I, it might I, have been actually, a bit overkill. <laughs> I actually want to ask though, Smiley, because it seemed like I was surprised that you, one, you didn't bring in decreased defense. It seemed like that was something that could have, you know, been useful for you, maybe even for the second wave. And two, I was actually surprised you brought in Silar. Uh, I would have thought Blind Seer by herself, especially at those speeds, could maybe keep that turn meter down all by herself. But uh, I'm assuming I, that just wasn't the case in your testing. Yeah, I wanted to go for the most consistent team, not the most. You know, like I, I maybe I could have gotten a slightly better speed with that, but you know, the Siler was just security, just in case. Mm, got you. Ensure the win. Lock it. Yeah, in. I got placing you. That, I got you. Placing that decreased speed was huge there, so I had to, I had to get her in there. That's true. I didn't think about that. Getting the decreased speed—that's a massive debuff, especially for the Fire Knight, because you're trying to keep his turn meter down. So, uh, having that in there is pretty, pretty massive. I like 400, it. Oh, okay. Four, 400 speed was the only MVP of this contest. <laughs> <laughs> the gold medal the goes to Smiley's my, gear. My fastest <laughs> champion in the game has 50 speed less than his blind C. That's sad, man. <laughs> I feel bad. That was great because that what made what got me on that is like that's faster than my fastest champion on my account. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't. I couldn't get to that if I wanted to. But, uh, that's pretty great. That was a great. And did you catch? You had accuracy on it too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, I got it. I, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Hey, Smiley, what other champions, or not Smiley, I'm sorry, uh, YC, what other champions were you looking at when you were building your orc team? Because um, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that wasn't like, you didn't go, oh, these are the five, and then stop there, right? Like, There was a few, so one was inspired from Layla Fox, and that was knocked off, but then I was really disappointed, like, seriously, <laughs> with the damage. So you guys, so you know on wave two, um, the, the kind of theory that I had was, um, drop defense a weaker, nuke, nuke, come through to the next wave. And then I was going to do the drop defense of Robar, put Nogdar very slow, tank him up with like 7,000, 8,000 attack and nuke. But he was hitting less than my champions that I had no damage on. So I was like, what on earth is going on here? And he's an attack based champion. So he was one, but obviously he had to get thrown in the bin. Uh, second was I am Brago for the AoEs. Mm -hmm. on, I was thinking he might smack pretty hard on that wave too. It just wasn't as much as I needed and I yeah <laughs> apart from that there's no one else in this faction so there you go <laughs> what you didn't know terror beast in the reflect uh no because there's no damage because there, I'm planning to get that shield down straight away anyway so I don't need the yeah. reflect damage oh that makes a lot of sense that actually no I, sense. I did try Sanash survivor with like 7,000 defense but she didn't nuke so <laughs> I, I did want to <laughs> I did want to ask you have you tried did you try a duck at all who duck I Duck, didn't because uh, of uh, affinity. Oh, okay, was, I see. even same thing with Grohart the Bloody. I was gonna use him for the turn mm. meter and the weakens and the decrease speed. But then when I seen Gomlock's kit, I was like, "What? Get him in my team!" <laughs> <It's> <laughs> insane. No. Yeah. Well done. Well, hey, can you do me a favor, uh, real quick, YC, and show us where we can find that UM code that all these winners are oh, gonna okay, have yeah. to find? So what you guys are gonna want to do they, is they even, uh, can they see it or? Uh, yeah, change the screen. I will change the screen. There you go. So guys, if you are selected as one of these five winners, you're going to want to go over here and find your UM code. It's right under that little avatar you have going down info. Find that UM code. You can click that copy ID button or just copy that ID. And you're gonna need all those numbers, all those letters. And you're gonna to wanna to send that to Short on Skills, one of my moderators is in chat right now and he'll get you those winners. So we got five winners coming up. They are Frey Nyat. PM Mogi, P Mogi, not PM Mogi, P Mogi. Uh, we've got Diabetes. We've got Goomy. What? A lot of O's. Very Goomy. <laughs> um, and Benguli. Congratulations. Congrats, Congratulations. Congratulations. Nice. Congrats, guys. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, really appreciate that. Go ahead and DM uh, Short on Skills, who's one of my uh, moderators in the chat right now. And uh, make sure you give them your UM number, and then we'll get you your gems. Uh, that's that's how it works. It's amazing. Um, and so congratulations. And everybody here, I know we've got like 800 of you guys in here. We're going to be back on Thursday. 
for the conclusion, the finale. It's going to be a long one because we're doing Hydra. And yes, they're going to have to manual this. Um, and so we are going to go ahead and do a big stream, but we're going to be giving away over 6,000 gems, I want to say, uh, that day too. So definitely going to be worth stopping by and having a good time. I think we're going to have like 18 different winners. We're going to give away books and shards and a bunch of fun stuff. So it should be a good time. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be a nice little conclusion. Guys, you guys were amazing. Uh, I cannot thank you all enough for being here. It's always a pleasure chatting with you anyway, but uh, very good competition we had today. So I just uh, really appreciate it. So uh, again, guys, give some love, put it in the chat, toss in some emojis for Miss Layla Fox Nation, Smiley TK, and YST. If you guys would like any any parting words, now would probably be the time for that. Oh yeah, you can see us all in there, inception wide. Um, <laughs> but is there anything, anything you guys would like to uh, share with the chat before we head out for the day? Um, for me, I would say it's been amazing to finally work with Smiley. I'm not sure if anyone knows this story, but me and Smiley literally knew each other from the very start of our YouTube journey, from like literally the beginning. And we've always said over the past year and a half, we're going to collab. We're going to do a collab. We're going to do a collab. <laughs> and he managed to finally kill me twice with Azavia in two weeks. So <laughs> it's, been a, it's been amazing to work with Smiley. And even Layla, we've never been on a collab before, like on screen. It's been amazing. And of course, Mr. Deadwood Jedi, you're a legend. Thank you so much for having us and making this whole thing possible. Yeah, yeah this was yeah. great. Thank you so much for just putting this together. And everybody watching, this is so much, so much work in the back end. There's a lot that goes on, particularly like Mr. Deadwood. So thank you again, Deadwood, so much for everything you're doing in the back end that people don't see because there's a lot of it. And thank you guys so much again for hanging out with us. This has been a blast. I know all the competitors, like we've been having such a good time off screen, you know, we're all laughing and joking about this and just really just, it's good camaraderie. So thank you everybody that came out to watch and just been cheering everybody on the whole time. Thank you guys so much for that. Yeah, I uh, I really appreciate all of you so much. And I guess this is our, oh, it's my last competition. I think you guys are done too, right? Yeah, yep, I'm just I think we're all done. Yeah, so I mean, it's been really fun and I'm just glad that, you know, I had this honor and privilege to work together with all of you and also just, you know, Deadwood Jedi is the real MVP for putting this entire thing together and just all the stuff he be does behind the scene. It's it's incredible. So a lot of uh, respect and um, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, thank you so much, Deadwood, for inviting us. Absolutely, guys. Thank you all for the nice words. And obviously, the amount of work I put in is definitely reflected in the amount of work you guys put in because you're the ones actually building the teams. And I get to watch your guys' little chats, talking with each other, trying to optimize your squads, getting help from each other and doing this stuff. And I think that's the most fun part is us actually working together on something. Uh, I always really enjoy that, and especially because you guys are such great people. And that's that's kind of a nice little bonus. When you get to work with your friends, it makes everything a lot, lot better. So um, thank you guys again for being a part of this. Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out and checking this out make sure to check out the hydra one that's gonna be i'm excited i'm excited about that one i don't know how it's gonna be but i've never been more excited to uh to do a four-hour stream in my life so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how long that goes <laughs> how it goes um but yeah it's all gonna come down to that last that last event to see who wins this whole thing so it should be very exciting but uh yeah thank you guys again for uh stopping by if you're still here don't forget to subscribe and uh until next we meet the deadwood jedi Bye guys. See ya. Bye guys.